Today is going to be a different type of video. We're not going to do a bow along today. I apologize. But we are going to do a tips and tidbits or tricks video. I know in previous videos I always share little tricks and tidbits that help me throughout my bow making process and I know sometimes these get lost in the shuffle maybe you miss a video or you didn't catch a particular video so therefore you don't see the tip so I thought maybe if I just start a new series titled oh I don't know tips and tidbits or tips and tricks or something to that nature maybe it'd be a little bit easier for you guys to find them today let me tell you what we're talking about today we're talking about wonky loops. Say it with me, wonky loops obnoxious. Everybody, raise your hand. You know what I'm talking about. We've all been there. We've all had that loop that will just not perk up. We've all had that loop that will just not stay where it's supposed to stay. Believe me, been there, done that several times. I still have wonky loops. But today I'm gonna share some tick some ticks. I'm not going to share any ticks. I'm going to share some tricks with you that help me and maybe they'll help you. Maybe they won't. Maybe you can share some uh, tricks of your own in the comments. I know we would love that. But um, yeah, that's what we're talking about today is wonky loops. Okay, how to get your loops to cooperate. I'm going to give you two things. A great fabric stiffener and you guys know I love this stiff and quick so much I love it I love it so much I could just burst with joy I just love it this has been my go-to for many years probably as long as I've been making bows which is probably about 13 years now I love this stuff you will also need clips these little guys right here they are going to serve as extra fingers, extra hands, whatever, extra appendage you may need. These things, love them, buy them. You can get these actually in boxes at Sally's Beauty Supply. I think they're like $4, I can't remember. And I believe you get 100, 150, somewhere around there. And usually there's always little coupons and deals that you can grab. And you can also buy these online. I believe ribbonqueen.com sells them or she used to but these yes these are not only great for attaching to your bows to go in your hair but they are serving as little pinchy pinchy helpers so yes a great fabric stiffener and alligator pinch clips okay a couple of other items that I use I use a jar yeah I just use the jar a mason jar will work you just need anything round and this works because it's not only round at the bottom but it's also flat if you don't use a jar you can also use a book um, but it needs to be like the size of your bow just so it can go right on top and it needs to be heavy trust me you'll use these things and I'm also using a spool of thread we're not going to be using the thread if you have an empty spool that will work wonders Okay, you have your bow all made, and this uh, seems like a pretty decent bow. Yeah, could be, could be better. Now, if you have a loop that is not forming in a loop, or it's done straighten itself out for some strange reason or another, take your empty spool thread and put it right there inside your loop, just like that. Take your stiffener spray it allow it to dry and guess what guys it's gonna be a loop again okay not only is this great for helping your loops be loopy again but it's also a great tool to make your bows look a little bit different to ma manipulate the bow if you don't I mean this is a twisted boutique guys but it does not have to look like this Look, this is actually the bottom. These are my top loops. This is the bottom. If I switched it, it looks different. Look at there, see? All I gotta do is give it a little switch. For some reason, I like my bottom two loops to be larger than my top two. Don't know why, just a preference. We all have preferences, right? 
All right, so let's make this bow look a little bit different and we're gonna be using our clips and my stiffener. All right, so first of all, I think I'm gonna go ahead and flip it upside down. You see how curvy they are? Now look right here in the middle where the two loops meet each other. I'm going to take a clip and I'm going to pinch these. I'm going to make them straight upon each other. I'm going to just slide them and make them straight. Just like that. See what I did? Alright, and then I'm just going to secure it. You see? They're straight against each other. See how that one's loose? I'm just going to put them straight and even against each other and give it a little clip. All right. Now, you see how it widened the bow out? And we've got these two loops down here that were at the top earlier. They droop down like that. They're going to look so cute in the back of a ponytail, by the way. Anyways, that's one way to make this bow look different. Just take it and spray it with your stiffener and allow it to dry. Or you can, if you want to make this bow loopier, we're going to gather another clip, of course, and we're going to take the bottom two loops and pinch them together. And I'm going to add this clip right here. See where it grabs them together? See, it's going to be a loopy loop bow. And then I'll do the exact same thing to the top. Be sure to put your clip on the back side. Okay, look how cute this little bow is. It's so squinched together. All right, now this is where I'm going to take my jar and I'm going to flatten it out. I don't know, maybe you might like this little scrunched up look. It's really cute. You put like a little bottle cap in the center. All right, but if you want it flattened out, just take it and just gently tug. See, I'm opening it up. Look at that. And then I'm going to put this face down on my table and you can take your book or in my case my jar and I'm going to place it right on top and then I'm going to spray it with this and the weight is going to cause everything to stay in place and once it dries you're going to have a flattened different bow. It's going to be cute. Okay so here is another twisted boutique bow that I just completed and there's really nothing wrong with it but i wanted to make it a little bit better so the, i noticed this loop up here is kind of i don't know it's just not as loopy as the other one so i'm going to take my thread spool and i'm just going to insert it right in there and press down where they match each other and i'm going to give it a spritz with the uh, stiffener and I also let me show you before i do that I'm also going to take the ends and I'm going to pinch them together just like I did in that green bow because I want this one to be just a little bit loopier. When you pinch them together, make sure the two ends here are lined up. All right, and then I'm just going to do the exact same thing to the top. All right, and press it out and then I can put my thread spool in make sure everything is looking like it should and then I'll just give it a spritz okay here is another twisted boutique bow that I have made this ribbon comes from rolling in ribbon by the way it's super cute it says summer days and it's got cute little ladybugs all over it I will leave her link down below if you want to check this out it's adorable and see how I made my bottom two loops bigger than my top just a preference I don't know why I'm so crazy like that that I like the bottom two larger than the top but I do so all right we are going to make a flat center for this bow because it will serve as a base bow meaning we're going to add things on top of this so I need like a flatter surface right here in the middle so everything can fit perfectly now to do that you just come down here and line your ribbons up straight against each other see just straight across and then we're going to take a couple of these clips and we're just going to clip them together so you want to line them up where they're straight and then take your little extra fingers here 
and I'm going to put one on this side and then I'm going to do another on the other side just to make sure it's going to hold in place. Don't want it to come undone on either side. Alright, so just make sure it's good and straight like that. That's going to be the center. And then I'll do the exact same thing to the bottom. Go ahead and straighten it up, which I'm just lining the two pieces up, one against the other, making sure everything's straight. And then I'm going to clip one side, and then I'll come and clip the other side. All right. And you can just make sure everything's flattened out. And see, you're still going to have your loopy loops, but you're going to have a flatter center so everything is stuffed in there really nice. All right, and of course, you'll give it a spritz, allow it to dry, and then it will be perfect. All right, let's talk about manipulating your surround bows and your twisted boutique toppers. Okay, so you went ahead and you assembled your bow and everything was looking good until you put it on the clip and then you have a wonky loop. Or you have a surround bow that's like shifted over or something like that. Have no fear, it's an easy, easy fix. All right, so what I like to do is when I'm assembling my bow parts, I make everything separate, but then I attach my surround bow to my twisted topper and I spray those two pieces together so it's like one piece. That way I can get a, an accurate fit and make sure everything is where it should be because you don't want your twisted boutique shifted over to one side and then your surround bow looking all crazy and yeah, you just don't want that. All right, so if you already got your bow assembled like this one, and you have a surround bow that's maybe like gone flat or limp or it's just hanging over here to the side by itself, you can add just a little bit of glue right to the bottom of your twisted boutique bow and then bring your surround bow up and gently press it to hold in place. And then that way no one's gonna know guys and your bow's still gonna look perfect. That's just a little sorcery in bow making. Um, also, if you want to come along and make your twisted boutique a little bit loopier, remember that trick where we added the clips? We can just clip them right there and then go back up here and clip it. And then look, it makes it loopier and more scrunched together. Just give it a spray. But make sure when you're spraying everything that nothing has been added, like your marabou and your tool, because that will get sticky. So I would, um, yeah, like I said before, I do my surround bow and then I put my twisted topper on top of it and I spray them together before I assemble everything. So if you wanted your loopier loops right here, you would do it before you assemble and put everything else on here because you don't want a sticky residue. But look, see that gives it a different look. It's loopier. And then you can take them out and you can go back to normal. Okay guys, there are just some ribbons out there that are going to be obnoxious to work with. No matter what tricks and tips that you try, some are going to fold only to unfold. Believe me, been there, done that. I have tossed ribbons and unfolded bows so many times. Just depending on what's printed on your ribbon or what type of ribbon is going to um, help with the outcome of your bow. But I will give you a little trick regarding some ribbon. This ribbon I have right here has got like a raised printing. It's like a glittery, you see that? And it feels like really plasticky on the top. It's really cute, but it's kind of hard to fold. But on the other side, see it's one-sided. Now, if you go ahead and fold your bow, don't spray this side right here with your stiffener. Go to the back, flip your bow over, and spray this side. It will hold your stiffener. This side, it will just roll off. Believe me, won't do any good. But if you spray it on this side over here, you will get a little crunch. It just depends on what types of ribbon. See, this one, it's got like that plastic not really plastic. I don't know what you call it, guys. Um, but yeah, if you spray it on this side, it's just gonna it's just gonna come off. Spray it 
on the back right there on that ribbon. That's going to wrap it up for this tips and tricks videos, how to deal with a wonky loop. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any tips and tricks to share with us, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. And I know it might be a little bit more time consuming to do some of these tips. You're just thinking, fold the bow and be done with it. But believe me, people do pay attention. And if you're going the extra mile for your customers, they will come back. As always, I will leave links down below in the description box. Check them out, and I'll see you in the next video.